what's up guys welcome to this second video about total gs flow uh in the last video we had a uh, overview of the total gs flow how it works and what uh, it is going to provide you and i showed you where also you can find some information to learn about total gs and um, this video i will focus on how to install total gs flow and get started with it Yes, there is some uh, another website I didn't want you to see from the first video. It is the documentation because this uh, project is open source and the documentation is available so that people who want to contribute uh, can do it. People who want to learn things and customize TotalJS for their needs can do it very easily. Okay, this documentation is here. Okay. I think we can click on this button to get straight to the gate up and download and install total jet flow but here we are going to go through the documentation yes it is very important if you go to this documentation you find that uh, uh, we have some informations some overview of that thought about total GS flow and you can install things from there too okay like here in welcome uh, you can f have some a section here about installing total js flow okay we already have some videos about installing total js flow and we are making this video this special video because uh, this is a special series of video okay where i will install it and give you some key things about how to get started with total js really easily nice first of all you need to have thought or uh, node js installed in your machine okay this is very important here i am using a mac os but you can install total js flow in your machine whatever is the operating system okay make sure that you install node js okay it's very important okay you can click on the link here and install it if you don't have node.js already installed in your machine uh, the version 14 and higher is okay and uh, here you have to download the project from github if i click here i will be able to get into the website nice you can get back to the documentation to follow the next steps or you can stay there and follow the next steps in the readme.md file okay i am going to install this total js application in my machine mac os but uh, it is the same steps for linux or windows operating system let us click here and copy you can click here and download up after that you unzip it and get started with it but i just click on it we are, we are developers we can do it via command line um let me get into my desktop i will create a document uh, a folder instead that i will call uh, lab flow lab okay like uh, a laboratory for testing things and i get into it okay now i can clone the application the repository of total js flow yes we wait some time for this application to be successfully cloned into the folder the folder is here if i click you see it is downloading the flow this application into the folder after that we can follow the added steps here and don't forget very important if you want to know things about total gs flow and everything we have a very nice channel on telegram about it join the telegram group okay if you click here okay it will take you to the telegram group where you can ask some community members and have some support nice let's get back to this uh, repository and 
other it is still cloning here we can uh, wait for the end of the download I have a very poor internet connection but uh, let's hope that uh, things are going to be okay while we are doing it I can move and uh, try to show you something very important about auto jet flow like uh, some some other ways to install it okay if you get back to the installation documentation you see that you can add auto js also in your docker as docker container it is easy as easy like uh, as a um, docker pool and docker run and it is okay nice the other thing is that you can also install auto js flow as an independent uh, application okay using the electron version if you don't know about electron electron is something like uh, yes it's a framework that helps you package some application uh, build desktop applications using html and css something like this total js also has a version of it like if you go to github of total js github that uh, slash total js you can click on repositories and find it it is called flow up okay flow up you click on it you will see the steps to follow in order to install it and build it for your operating system for mac os from linux and for windows it is very important also uh, but you can run it without building also this is nice alternative to uh, do what uh, is good for your project for your if you want to test it it is better for you to follow the steps download it download uh, node.js install everything and get started with it so it is as easy as like that because you don't we don't want to focus on doing technical things that's why uh, flow programming is made uh, even installation C is very easy like that let us see how it is progressing yes nice we have our project installed in our machine if i do ls yes you have it here let me show you if i right click double click on this you have the project now here the next step is what you do npm install npm install npm is the packet manager of uh, node.js and it enter nice we already have it here now what we can do is npm start to start our project uh, what is going wrong oh yes i have to get into the flow folder first i am sorry npm install okay okay npm start now it is going to work all right uh, we can hop on this project here yes where we go in this uh, first page of uh, authentication you have to create a default account you can click here to automatically fill in the form and click on sign in after that uh, welcome to total js flow program interface called total js flow next uh, create unlimited count of flows and automate your iot devices process and workflows uh, thank you for using total js flow then nice we have this nice interface and first thing you have to do is to change your credentials because you have created we are in a default account sometimes people forget the password after um, and this is not interesting so get straight to this section called credentials you click on it and you put your own credentials i will put my email address and here i create a password I confirm my password 
and I click on submit now I can close my project two days three days one week after I can come I put the same credentials and I get in nice in this video we were focusing how to install auto JS flow after uh, in the next video we are trying to to learn how to create some flows to learn everything you want you need to know about the flows okay thank you for watching this video like subscribe and if you have some questions don't hesitate to get into our telegram group and ask your questions i am always online there so and we have also other people we use auto just flow for a very long time that can these this people can help you uh, give you a nice support too thank you for watching and see you in the next video